What do you have to say to anybody that's hating on you? Uh, just wait, you'll see, man. Like, just you'll see. I don't do all that talking. Just after, I'll show you guys that I'm I'm that guy. I'm him for real.
made you start playing basketball and who pushed you the most? Uh, started playing basketball around the age of like three years old. I used to go to my dad's um, games, like, because he had games with his friends. I always used to sit on the side and watch. Whenever halftime come, I'd get the ball, shoot a couple buckets, try to, try to like, just play whatever I could. But from there, my dad pushed me just to start hooping. And I just fell in love with the game as soon as I started playing. So as far as who's pushed me the most, my dad. He's there every game, telling me what to do every game. Coached me to basically what I do now. So that's that.
Um,
supporting when I'm left and right, man. Yo, no. Come say hi, man. Yo, I'm camera shy. Yeah, I'm not a camera guy still. I didn't know what's going to come, man. It's alright. It's alright, though. We'll get him again. Yeah, we'll win. Oh. On to the next one.
Got the dub, close game, but finished higher than the wives. Who's gonna get out of the next one? Who's gonna play Metro next? Let's, let's get that win. He's three and one, you know?
session pretty sure we have platinum next weekend so, you know it's good man come get this there you know man yeah, big J Sav out here go check out his music link will be link will be right there you know go check out his shit soundcloud youtube all that you know the vibe This guy's a fool. Well, I'll punch you in the head. You guys just don't, mm, I'll punch all you guys in the head. That's why your mom didn't take the order because she knows. You know, you know, you know, you know. Yo, just get my food, man. Just get my food. I'll punch you. That was right, awesome.
see the pulse, man? You see the pulse? You see it, man? Oh, here, man. You already know. So say your name, your class, what school are you go to? Uh, Nathaniel Savage, class of 2023, Oakville Prep. First question, how did you think you played in the tournament? No, I thought I played all right. No, it's not about me, it's about my team, but personally, I think I played all right. A couple games, I could have done more. But, you know, came off 3-1, and one. The dub's all that matters. Could have went 4-0, four and, four and oh, but it's all right. Uh, on to the next one. I think we have platinum next week, so let's try to get as many dubs as we can. Try to go undefeated. What does your tattoo stand for? My tattoo is my mother's name, Christina, and uh, ever since I was young, I used to get her flowers for her birthday, Mother's Day, all of that. So uh, I think I got it for my birthday. I got my mom's name and roses because it's just significant with me and my mom. It just has a special connection with each other. Alright. Um, how is it like playing in the States and how does the competition vary compared to here? Playing in the States, it was a real fun experience. Uh, I had to come back, just wasn't a team for me. Great team, great organization, great coaching. Um, the competition isn't very different. Like, yeah, people say, oh, people are better in the States. It really isn't. The transition wasn't very hard for me coming from Canada to the States because it's basically almost the same type of competition, just higher level, higher intensity. All right, bet. What are your future plans when it comes to playing basketball? Well, for basketball, for me, it's just get to the highest possible uh, point I can with basketball. That means NBA, get to the NBA. Well, but first my goal is right now to go Division One in college. Uh, just try to get to the highest level of basketball you could possibly get to. What do you want to achieve in this upcoming year? Well, this upcoming year, basically I just want to win. Like that's my main goal for the year, just to win everything. Cause at the end of the day, at the end of the day, winning means everything. Winning gets you the looks. Winning gets your teams the looks. So if we win all of our games, we get to the championship. Win the championship. Everything will be good. That's my goal for the season. We'll get my team to win. What is your dream school you want to go to? Ah, uh, my dream school would have to be UNC. I've been wanting to go to UNC. Love how they play. Love everything there. Their sponsorship, Jordan, everything. Everything there to me is, is, is pretty good. Um, what's your funniest moment playing basketball? Funniest moment playing basketball? Uh, Funniest moment playing basketball. It was uh, it was a season at Michael Power, my uh, school before I went to Oakville Prep in grade ten. Um, we we're beating the team by I don't even know how many points. It was a lot of points. Uh, I, th I think we we're up like ninety nine, and then a friend of mine, uh, he was at the free throw line to go up a hundred points, and he shot the ball and airballed. Everyone started dying. It was really funny, but it was all good because he made the second free throw, got us up 100, and ended up winning by 100 points. So that has to, that has to be the funniest moment playing basketball. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. That moment killed me. <laughs> nah, I remember that nice still. <laughs> I, have to, I have to pop up the video still. I have to. Um, What's your go-to pre-game snack slash meal? My go-to pre-game snack has to be Skittles. Almost every game, I have to, you know, get a, get some Skittles from wherever, dollar store, Walmart shoppers, eat them real quick, then go into the game and kill. 
Who's the hardest guy you had to guard before? Hardest guy I had to guard before has the name of Aiden Holloway. I got him in the States when we were playing against Lalamere. He's very shifty, very smooth, but that's definitely the hardest player I have to guard. Who's your favorite NBA player and why? Favorite NBA player has to be Damian Lillard. I like his mentality. Whenever he gets the ball, he knows what, he knows what he's going to do. He knows he's going to kill his uh, defender on offense. His confidence is crazy. Just a human highlight reel. What's your favorite basketball shoes and why? My favorite basketball shoes has to be either Kyrie's or Dame's. Usually I go with Adidas because I just like Adidas shoes. But lately I've been wearing some Kyrie's and I've been performing in them to feel good on my feet. Everything's been good to Kyrie, so I have to say Kyrie's or Dame's. All right. Um, what's your favorite off-court shoes? Off-court shoes got to be the Jordan 1's, lows or highs. It's just the drip, it's the swag. It go with anything, so usually I'd be wearing my Jordan 1 lows. They're in my closet right now, but it's the swag, it's the drip. What is your, what in your opinion is your strongest aspect? My strongest aspect, uh, I'd have to say definitely my mid-range shot. Everyone, everyone tells me whenever I'm playing, you know, watch this midi, watch this midi. So I'd definitely say my mid-range shot, my, my pops has been working on that with me since I was young. As I always said, get your shot right, especially your mid-range shot, it's going to be open a lot. So I just took that and stuck with it my whole life and just ride it out with my mid-range shot. What, what is one or two things that you think you need to work on? Uh, definitely, I have to work on my rebounding. Uh, I, I seen in this tournament, uh, at least this session, that I definitely need to work on my rebounding. Um, I'd also say my consistency with my three-point shot. I feel like my three-point shot could definitely get more consistent when shooting it. And yeah. Um, what do you think has improved most in your game compared to last year? Last year, uh, my mentality, definitely my mentality compared to last year. This year is more killer mentality, you know. See that I get the bucket or get my teammate to get the bucket. From last year, I'd shy away in certain moments. And my mid range shot, not just my mid range shot, but my shot in general, uh, I worked a lot on that during the summer, during the season. Uh, just have your shot ready and if your shot's on point, everything else will open up for you. So I try to have my mindset right at all times and my shot just at A1. What do you have to say to anybody that's hating on you? Uh, just wait, you'll see, man. Like, just you'll see, I don't do all that talking. Just after, I'll show you guys that I'm, I'm that guy. I'm him for real.